the interesting things about your book, um, whose argument is that World War One could have been brought to a, a much earlier conclusion, perhaps in 1917, even late 1916, had um, the the belligerent parties all sat down and agreed that this was possible. Um, so in that scenario, uh, the one player who really doesn't have the excuse of being clouded by nationalist passions is the United States. So Britain, Germany, France, you can say, yes, so United, uh, the, the nationalist passions are really inflamed. They've been at war for two years. There's been cost to each of those nations. The United States is very much uh, a neutral broker at the beginning of the story. So in that instance, why was the US not able to drive a rational peace process that would have brought the war to an end? What stopped us? Uh, the simplest answer to that, Clive, is they saw what needed to be done, and Woodrow Wilson and his uh, tiny inner circle did not know how to do it. Um, it is sadly true that often people can recognize a problem quite shrewdly and perceptively, yet be incompetent to solve it. Uh, this was such a case. Um, in uh, You had Woodrow Wilson, who in many ways uh, was genuinely neutral and dispassionate. Uh, genuinely sought to negotiate a compromise peace without victory, as he called it. Um, genuinely realized um, that if both, if either side gained a decisive victory, it would leave such a legacy of resentment and bitterness that such a peace would not last. So he understood the ingredients. He understood that the Germans were prepared to compromise. He understood that he had enormous leverage to get the Allied side to the peace table. He knew he had he knew what the goals were. He knew he had all the tools at hand. He did not know how to use the tool. He did not have the operational skill. It wasn't that he was too idealistic. Um, he was practical, um, but simply incompetent in the peacemaking and relied, therefore, overwhelmingly on an advisor who turned out not only to be even less competent than Wilson was, this is Edward House, but in fact uh, um, was a person who had deep failings of his own, many of them invisible to Wilson. He was not a trustworthy person. He was uh, dishonest um, and put that on top of incompetent. His incompetence was even greater than Wilson's, but he, he hid it beneath a cosmopolitan veneer of sophistication. Hachette.